I've got another one I've got down here, which you, it's called the Butterfly Lion. I can't see you, but I'd like you to put up your hands if you read the Butterfly Lion. And if your hands aren't up, then you're very naughty. Go out and read this book if you possibly can. It's a book I wrote some time ago, um, and it's a book which has a truth behind it. I don't think I've ever written a book which does not have something true behind it. So there was the little sculpture of Caspar, and there was the Leicester City winning the, this football match, and the fact that foxes are the emblem of their club. There's something true. And with the butterfly lion, I heard the story, I was told the story, about someone's great grandfather who was a soldier in the First World War and he got wounded in the trenches very early on, only 19 this man, he got wounded in the leg and they sent him to a hospital behind the lines and he ended up um, by having an operation and because in those days there wasn't antibiotic and medicine was very 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 different from today um, he was in hospital for a long long time and to make his leg work again the doctors kept saying you've got to walk, you've got to walk and there was a village about a mile away and so every day during his recovery time, he'd walk out of the hospital on a stick and walk in. And he was in this little village, little village in France, about 30 miles behind where the war was actually going on. And he was sitting down having a coffee in the village street. And he heard this shooting. And he goes round the corner, because we're miles away from the war now. And he wonders what's going on. He walks, and there's this circus drawn up. And all these animals in these cages, all drawn up around the town square. And there's a guy with a gun. And he's going around and he's shooting the animals in these cages. So this young soldier was enraged and he, he ran out to this man and said, what are you doing, what are you doing? And he tore the rifle out of his hand. And this man was in tears. He's an old man, old Frenchman, who was the guy who owned this circus, really. And he was crying, he was crying. I said, I can't run my circus anymore. I've got no money, I've got no food to feed my animals. They haven't eaten for three, four weeks. They're starving. And I can't do anything else. I can't keep them. So I'm shooting them. And there was one animal left alive, and that was the circus lion. And so the young man said, well, you're not shooting that, that lion. You're not. And he decided to take the lion out of its cage, quite tame, this lion, circus lion. And they walked it along the village street, and they met an officer. And this young man said, sir, this is a lion. It's the emblem of Great Britain. We're fighting a war for Great Britain. This man wants to shoot the lion because he can't afford to feed it. Can we look after this lion, sir? And the officer said, of course, we should, we must. And they sent this lion to London to be looked after. And I loved that story so much. That I thought to myself, I'm going to have to write a, a story about that soldier and that lion. And I linked it up right at the beginning to my own life growing up in a boarding school, miles away from home and running away. And I called it the Butterfly Lion.